Hey, it's Jake Mace with Phoenix Longevity Arts, and in this talk, I want to talk about a story I read recently about a woman in Tulsa, Oklahoma, whose name is Denise Morrison, and uh, she uh, doesn't know it, but she shares something in common with Kung Fu Masters of the Past, and her story is loosely, I'll put the link to the story down below in the description, so click on the link, watch the video, or read the story, check it out. Basically, the outline is that she has a home in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Her home before the one she currently lives in had some problems with the city ordinances. So her current home, she uh, followed the city code by the book when she planted an edible garden, basically in her entire house, front yard, backyard, everything. And she used her garden uh, in every way, shape, and form for medicine and for eating. And uh, what happened was some neighbors complained about it for some odd reason, and she got... Uh, uh, into a dispute with the city. So what happened was is uh, she went to court to fight a citation she got from the police and when she came back she found city workers who work for the city digging up and cutting down her garden. Okay, so uh, I remember that there was a movie called Karate Kid Part 2. Maybe you saw it, okay? One of my favorite series of all time, the Karate Kid series. And in that series, Mr. Miyagi was a gardener and in the Part 2, him and Daniel go to Okinawa and at one point the bad guy, the hotshot kid that fights Daniel in the end, showed up. He was uh, Sato's head student and showed up to destroy the Miyagi garden. And Mr. Miyagi had to defend Daniel's life. But if you notice at the end of the scene where they fight, um, I'll post the link to the fight too. It's kind of a cool scene. At the end, he thrusts a Japanese spear right at the guy's throat. Doesn't kill him, doesn't hurt him, but just leaves. And the bad guys continue to completely thrash the Miyagi garden. Uh, so this, both stories are uh, very true and very historic because a lot of the Kung Fu techniques that we practice were created by Buddhist Taoist monks that were being oppressed in this way. So whether it's from uh, a group of invaders or the city itself. So I don't know the situation with Denise Morgan or Denise uh, Morrison of Tulsa, Oklahoma, but it's such a heart-wrenching story that hits me so close to home because the Kung Fu techniques that we love and train today were developed by monks who were being oppressed by the government as well as by bandits and they created these techniques to defend themselves and so I'm always telling my students that the Kung Fu self-defense that we practice here in Tempe, Arizona is for longevity, hence my school's name, Phoenix Longevity Arts, just as eating right is for longevity. Working out and being physically fit is for longevity. Having a meaningful relationship with other human beings is for longevity. All the, having a family structure that is loving and um, helps bring you up to the next level of human evolution is part of longevity. So the Kung Fu techniques that we train are to defend this life just as though eating well and having good medicine is as well. So I got to tell you, I don't know what I'd do if I was Denise Morrison. Um, I feel for you, Denise, and I hope that you... Uh, grow your garden back twice as good, twice as flourishing as it was before. But everyone watching this video, tell me what you would do if you were in Denise's position and put your comments down below and share this video. Let's get the word out that this is happening in America, in Oklahoma, one of the most American states that there is. Uh, so get the word out. Let me know what you think and offer some solutions, uh, maybe Kung Fu based, what you would do if you came home to find city workers destroying your work, your property, or your livelihood in terms of food, medicine, and the like. This is Jake May signing off, and I'll see you in our next video. Thanks for all the comments in advance, and uh, see you next time for our next training in Kung Fu, Tai Chi, or Chi Gong.